Hey everybody, welcome back to Dyad Reacts. Today, what we are talking about is the latest game announcement coming out of the Nintendo Switch. We got a new game on the horizon, Star Wars Hunters, and I got some feelings. Uh, I know Element 7's got, got some, some feelings. feelings. So yeah, we're, we're going to talk about that right here, right now on the Dyad Reacts. So this week during Nintendo Direct, we got some news. We got some news on the Star Wars front that we are getting a new game, Star Wars Hunters. Uh, did you get to check that out at all? I I, I did. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot to see, but what I did see made me hype. Um, in fact, made me hype enough to instead of get a PS5, get a Switch. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, 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 know it's free to play. I don't know if it's it's available on like an on all other platforms. It, 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 is it just exclusive to the Switch? Uh, it looks like it was exclusive to the Switch. Uh, again, I did not watch the entire Nintendo Direct, and I do plan to go back and do so. But yeah, this was definitely announced specifically for Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I have, you know, these qualms is because there are certain games that are announced, not like the Sony presser and the, the Microsoft media briefing, and they're multi-platform, um, but they're announced there because they're having that event and it just lines up with the, the marketing for a game. Um, if it comes out on PC, I will be playing it on PC. <laughs> if, if, if not, <laughs> I'm getting a Switch for it. Um, but my main question for you is, like, what what kind of game is what it? What is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, okay. I, I mean, I saw your original TikTok um, earlier about it. Squad-based um, arena battler? Is that what the... Yeah. Uh, Third-person arena battle uh, type game. So, I don't know exactly th what that means. I was looking up... Um, different games that kind of fit that build so the arena and is well, well what, what i get from arena uh usually is moba yeah so i'm feeling like it's a moba without your little minions or i don't know groupies <laughs> <laughs> whatever little things are. admittedly not huge players of uh league and dota or even heroes I tried of the playing storm. Dota 2, uh, and I was I was so trash at it that I've tried it I all, had to man. Stop. Um, I accidentally kept calling our, our flying goat, and it would get killed while bringing our stuff, and <laughs> people would get mad at me. <laughs> sorry, just yeah. Uh, I mean, if it's in that vein, okay, so it's free to play, so that does give me pause that it might be a MOBA. But I, you know, it's Star Wars. I'm willing to give it a shot. But I also like. I also kind of feel like it has hints of like because they were on these pedestals and doing like canned animations on them. It made me think about like team fight tactics or like uh, an arena that is akin to like Hearthstone, but more along the lines of you have a squad that you can control their actions and it would be like a squad based card game, but with 3D models instead of cards. Yeah, so I I, I have high hopes. I mean, again, it feels like it might be like a, a MOBA type thing. The things on the pedestal did kind of remind me of Galaxy of Heroes. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's the feeling that I got, which which is a good game. It's it's not that it, like <laughs> uh, Galaxy of Heroes is a game I would not play on a platform. It needs to be like a mobile game so we will have to see also since it's coming to a nintendo switch um part of me is also thinking along the lines of um the latest marvel ultimate alliance 3 that came out ah, for switch yeah um that we could be getting something similar to that but i feel like the if that were the case, Jedi would be wildly overpowered. <laughs> but yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see how they do the balancing and stuff like that. It's not, you know. Uh, you know, it, it does remind me of Galaxy of Heroes. I don't think that they would have two skews out that are the same thing. 
The only thing that would make me think that it was a hero collector slash battler like heroes is that this would be a canon version, you know, because we have like legends and all kinds of characters in heroes and there's no cons there's no the canonicity of heroes is obviously zero. Uh, but <laughs> if we have hunters, it's making me think, you know, we, we, we see we see a Jedi hunter in that trailer. Um, I don't know who that is. We're, there are several Inquisitors we still have yet to see uh, canonically. And then that person had a red lightsaber, so who knows? Um, and that might just be the crux of hunters. But uh, I, what what would be the game that you most want? Not what it sounds like, because I don't really want a MOBA. I'm willing to try it because it's Star Wars. I would love like a For Honor Star Wars game. With the four honor combat mechanics, like arena style, just lobbied um, arena fights, and you've got like you know online multiplayer. You've got your friends playing, and it has like those you know those four honor or the four honor mechanics for the melee combatants, and then FPS or TPS mechanics for the scoundrels and the bounty hunters. Yeah, I I um. Uh... I mean, I haven't played much for Honor, but my mind went straight to the game Paladins, oh, um, yeah. which is like Overwatch Lite. Um, <laughs> it's like Smite. <laughs> Something like that along those lines. This is not um, sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think, um, I, I don't know, whatever we get. I just want to make sure that we we, we talked about it because I, I already have a, quite a few people asking what my thoughts are on it. Um, so I just definitely wanted to talk about it a little bit, but uh, there's still so much information that we just don't have yet, you know. But yeah. Um, either way, I love third person games. Uh, looks like we're going to be able to play as a variety of different classes. Yeah, it looks like it might be. It, it should be pretty wide open for who we can play as and what they can do. Yeah, I think the number one, the most important thing is it's canon. Because uh, even though like the canonicity of video games is like shaky, um, we, we need something that just feeds the official lore a little bit more uh, like Fallen Order did. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, but now that there's no EA uh, exclusivity... I think we can get a lot more of that uh, coming down the pipe. So, good time to be a Star Wars fan. I'm excited for I'm excited for all things Star Wars. So, whatever it is, a game, a MOBA, I'm, I'm willing to try it out. You know, I wasn't too good at Squadrons. Uh, I enjoy <laughs> heroes and villains on Battlefront 2 from time to time. But you know, I, I'm willing to try out it, whatever this may be. Right now, I'm playing Galaxy of Heroes, so it, it's just. <laughs> It's just the desire for Star Wars. That's it. I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm excited. I need a fighter. Okay. Oof. Star Wars. I need a fighter desperately. I haven't had a Star Wars fighter since uh, the fighting mode on Revenge of the Sith, uh, which was a lot of fun. And before that, it was Knights of Terracasi. Um, <laughs> was that so before or after Clone Wars lightsaber duels? Never played Clone Wars lightsaber duels. Didn't know it existed until this <laughs> very moment. So <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> well, there you go. But uh, yeah, there's but there's there's a lot coming. And we're happy to have all styles of games because, you know, you always want to play something different. And the more variety we have, the happier we're going to be. But uh, yeah, I mean, for everyone watching, uh, let us know what type of if you could pitch any Star Wars game. What type of game are you going to green light? And uh, what do you think about what we're finding out about um, Star Wars Hunters? Are you excited or not? Uh, and again, you know, always helps us out if you enjoy the content to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos. And join my Discord. I just made a public Discord. So, you know, you can jump in and be part of the loop. We try to keep a nice community. So, uh, we would be honored if you would join us right here on the Dyad Reacts. May the Force be with you.
青です。